Hello everybody, my name's Josh, and I'm here today to bring you a short guide on how to best present your home ready to come to market. As a vendor, it's very hard to know quite what to move, what to hide, and how far to go in terms of decluttering your home. And to find that sweet spot will enable you to get the highest possible price for your home and also to sell in the shortest amount of time. So I'm here today in a house that's coming to market to just give you a few little tips and tricks as to what to hide, what to move, and how best to present your home ready to come to market. So starting first of all in the kitchen, it is tidy, it's clean, it's a bright, it's a nice photo, but there's certainly room for improvement. In terms of decluttering, remove the blue cloth from over the, the tap by the sink, take out the Nutribullet, the kettle, and we want to look for things that are brightly coloured that don't really fit in with the surrounding, and then we'll look to remove these items. There's some controls on the, on the island and probably a few too many candles here. We can also see the tea towel hanging over the oven. That's definitely got to go. And you can see also most of the lights, if not all the lights in this room are off. And we want all of the lights to be on. We want the room to look as bright as possible. Equally, it's important that we remove any signs of pets. So the dog bowls have got to go. Any dog beds should also go. And, and we want to open the curtains and blinds and, and really let the light flood in. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we can see the difference. The house looks a lot more clean. It really sets up for you to see the potential for where you would put your own belongings and just gives the best opportunity for us to, to, to really present this kitchen in its best light. One tip I would give you is to hide all of the belongings we want out of shop into boxes and put them into your car. Your car will need to be moved off the driveway, so this gives us a great opportunity to hide things that would otherwise be in the way. Next, let's go up into the bedroom. Anything that's bright coloured is a great place to start. The coin bottle, you've got shower gels over by the, the window. Very important to remove anything off the back of the door, so the, the dressing gown has got to go. And lighters on the bedside table, as well as some creams. Equally, we want all the lights and lamps on, and it's always wise to go round turning all your lights and lamps on prior to the estate agent coming, maybe the day before, and just check that all of your bulbs are matching and all of them are working. This is something that, that, that can stand out when we have one lamp out or one bulb out when it comes to photos. Here you can see the aftermath of that. So we've cleared the surfaces, it looks a lot more clear, and with all the lights on it gives that nice warmth glow uh, from the different corners. Next, let's go out into the garden. But you can see here the lawn hasn't been cut, and equally there's no garden furniture out. Let's cut the grass, you've got lovely lines on the lawn and all of a sudden the garden feels bigger, it's been well looked after, you can see the current owners care for that house. The other important thing to bear in mind is the front shot. We always want to remove all cars from the driveway and we also want to remove all wheelie bins. Hopefully this guide's given you a good understanding on how to best present your home ready to come to market giving you the greatest opportunity to sell in the shortest amount of time and also to achieve the highest possible price. If you do have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. And if you like this guide, don't forget to hit subscribe.